guys, it's Mario Fan520, and before I start this movie review, I just want to say that I just want to give an amazing shout out to the people who have brought me into films and loving filmmaking and the idea and the concept to get involved in the world of filmmaking. I just want to give a big shout out to my family, the people who have brought me to watching and loving the films technically like my mother my sisters um and i just want to say that they are really amazing um and you guys are amazing too as my subscribers uh, support my family show them a lot of respect and love especially if you come here for my videos just to watch my movie reviews support my family because they're the ones who really got me into loving films and the idea of filmmaking and especially me wanting to become a filmmaker when i grew up in the future um but anyway thank you thank you mom and everyone else that brought me into the idea of filmmaking but today i am very excited because i'm going to be talking about a film that's technically been a part of me ghostbusters no, not the 2017 reboot. The 1984 film, the classic action comedy uh, 1980 f film that was released back in 1984 and starred Bill Murray. And in this film, the story revolves around a group of men who set up a shop business as ghost exterminators. And once this huge breakout of ghosts starts to of ghost sightings and stuff like that start to occur around the city, the Ghostbusters have to unite to take out all of these ghosts. I love this movie. This movie is honestly what comedy slash every what every action slash comedy film should be. Ghostbusters is such an amazing film. This film is filled with such hilarious characters and. The idea behind the story is so well written. You actually get invested into the characters. These characters in this film, they have great chemistry. Bill Murray, this is honestly, in my opinion, one of his best roles. Bill Murray really does deliver in this film. And you, you get invested into all the characters because they have amazing chemistry. The Ghostbusters in this film, you can relate to every single one of them that are, you can relate to every single one of them that are part of this crew. They're funny, they're smart, they're witty, and they're fun. That's what makes you love these characters. The special effects in this movie are absolutely really good. I wouldn't say they're some of the best, especially in today's viewing and stuff like that. Like especially where you, where you with like CGI and stuff because today's CGI really um CGI is a big thing today, but in the 80s CGI wasn't really a big thing. It was more like puppeteering and animatronics and stuff like that. But the CGI was really great for its time at least in this film the cgi doesn't really hold up in this film but it's not anything that it's not the, the cgi is not anything that you can watch today and be like that looks horrible i want to throw up no the cgi is just honestly decent um it's not great as how it would have been back then but it's it's still like you could still look at the cgi and appreciate it for what it is I love the thrilling and action sequences in this film. They are extremely fun. And I really do appreciate the editing and pacing that's in this film, especially for a lot of action and thrilling sequences because I, like I said, these action and thrilling sequences are so fun. This movie actually really does keep you hooked into, into everything that's happening. Into everything that's happening to, to the characters, the entire town, what these ghosts are doing and why they're doing it. It is amazing on how impactful this film has become, honestly. Harold Ramis and Dan, Acro Dan Aykroyd are really great in this movie, honestly. And um, it sucks that Harold Ramis really is no longer around honestly because he was really he honestly had a really promising movie career um he really did have a promising movie career ghostbusters was one of his best perform it was one of his best movies honestly his character really did deliver in this movie it sucks that he is no longer around to make other films but anyway what rest in peace sir 
um, Ramis, you have honestly had a really promising film career. And you were such, honestly, such a fantastic actor, and you'll be sorely missed. And I love the direction that Ivan Reitman absolutely delivers in this movie. The direction that Ivan Reitman delivers in this film, you can absolutely tell that by every single shot and every single action sequence is that they were actually trying to make a very legitimately good movie. There is so much passion that's brought in this film and it's because of the direction in this film the direction is what show is what shows the passion that was absolutely delivered into ghostbusters and i'm pretty sure the filmmakers were absolutely proud of what they did and they should be because honestly if ivan reitman didn't really much care for this project and didn't put the effort in the direction and if the filmmakers didn't have a good producer or if or a great writer for this film i think the whole project would have failed but every single person that was a part of making this film delivered passion and that's what makes made ghostbusters succeed honestly that's what made this film succeed and you can honestly tell the filmmakers were having a blast making this film because just watching this film you never get bored. Every single time I watch Ghostbusters, it never gets old to me. I love this movie. And honestly, I think one of the best reasons why Ghostbusters works is because and I mentioned that this movie is a comedy. This film doesn't go overboard with its comedy. This film actually knows how to be funny. This film doesn't go overboard with its comedy. And I think today movie some t m comedies that we get today some maybe their comedies would, the, co the comedy in the film will go too over the top and it wouldn't be funny ghostbusters never goes over the top with its comedy it's always been funny it's always been enjoyable for the entire family and it's always been dramatic and it's always been a thrilling and act a thrilling experience and such an action-packed thrill ride and I love how this movie didn't go intensely serious. I absolutely love that this movie didn't go extremely beyond serious. Because honestly, this could have been something like a dark movie, honestly. Like a very dark movie. And Ghostbusters is somewhat dark. But this could have been much darker, honestly. And I love that the filmmakers didn't go too serious with this film. And I love that the filmmakers made this film, went at it, and... You could tell that the filmmakers knew what they wanted to make. Ghostbusters is, is a movie that knows what it is. And I absolutely respect that. Just one of the reasons why I love this film. Guys, I honestly don't know what else to say about this film. I love this movie. This is one of my all-time favorite films. And I'm just going to say this straight out right off. I'm just going to say this right off of the bat. If you haven't seen Ghostbusters... What are you doing? Just, just what are you doing? What? <laughs> you're not doing it right. What? Seriously, whatever you're doing, you're not doing it right. Go, go see, go, go see Ghostbusters now, please, please. I absolutely love this film. It's a masterpiece. Yes, I said Ghostbusters is a masterpiece. I don't care what anyone else thinks, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out here who, who thinks this film is a classic and a masterpiece. Come on, it's Ghostbusters. I'm serious, I love this movie. This is one of my all-time favorite movies, and it'll stay as that way. I have a deep heart for Ghostbusters. This is one of my favorite films, and I'm gonna give Ghostbusters an A+. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Look forward to my next review for Coraline that I'll be doing. And um, on Halloween, I have, remember I have a special movie review for you guys. And I'm going to continue Horror Movie Month until Sunday. On Sunday, I'm going to be finishing Horror Movie Month. Um, not this Sunday, but uh, next Sunday and uh, stuff like that. Next Sunday, I'm going to finish um, Horror Movie Month. And uh, yeah. Well, um, by the time I, this is uploaded, it's actually going to be Monday. So technically, yeah, this Sunday. This Sunday, I'm going to finish Horror Movie Month. 
Um, and yeah, I'm, uh, and after that, I'll be doing other movie reviews, like, regularly. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my reviews. You guys are the best. I love every single one of you. You guys show support to my channel. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I am MarioFan520, and I will see you next time. Peace out.